Welcome back to uh, my course on genome editing and engineering. We are discussing about CRISPR-Cas9 computational uh, resources. So, let us look into some of the tools available for uh, design of sgRNA and you can see one of the tools uh, developed uh, by uh, Montago and his colleagues are uh, ChopChop, a CRISPR-Cas9 and tele, uh, Talen web tool uh, for uh, genome editing. So, this tool can be helpful in uh, case of both uh, CRISPR and uh, Talen. So, the usability of this uh, particular SOP SOP uh, is that you will have a, a query which we will show in, 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 in one of the slides uh, later how it can be used uh, for design of uh, sgRNA. Uh, the home page of uh, SOP SOP uh, allows users to enter a, a gene name. Uh, genomic uh, coordinates or a DNA sequence and select an organism and tell it or CRISPR uh, Cas mode. So, if we want to uh, develop a tool for Talent, we have to select Talent and if we want to develop for uh, CRISPR Cas 9, we have to uh, select uh, CRISPR Cas 9 mode. The main results page uh, presents the single guide RNA or Talent target sites within the gene architecture. Uh, uh, which we have uh, given as input uh, with is option uh, color coded according to uh, ranking. Uh, hovering over an entry in the table highlights the corresponding graphical uh, single guide RNA or uh, talent and uh, vice versa. Uh, clicking on a specific result takes the user to a page containing the zoomed in locus uh, with the predicted cut site highlighted in red, uh, primer options in purple and restriction sites uh, color coded according to whether they are unique uh, in the uh, region. So, uh, this is the you know, one of the web page of this SOP SOP. So, for example, here we have given a target uh, IGF1 which is insulin like uh, growth uh, factor and this is we have selected in the homo sapiens. So, here it is a pull down menu and here we are using the option uh, CRISPR Castine. Again, we are defining it for what? For knockout of this uh, particular uh, gene target. So, uh, we have uh, various options. So, if you uh, land up in this uh, web page, sopsop.cbu.uib.no, uh, 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 you can uh, try typing in a gene uh, of your interest and selecting an organism from the pull down menu over here and whether you are using for CRISPR Cas9 or Talon you can choose and the various options whether knockout, knock in and so on uh, can be selected from over here. And then uh, we can find the uh, target sites. So, there is uh, a, a facility for the user to give uh, certain options uh, as uh, I have told you in the earlier case, the various organisms, the various uh, uh, experimental sections, knockout, knock-in, activation, repression and also there is a facility for selection of the nucleus that we are going to use whether CRISPR-Cas9 or Nikes or CRISPR-Cas13 or even uh, Talon. And we can adjust certain uh, parameters, we can uh, target specific regions of the gene, the coding region or the exons or splice sites and the UTR of 5 prime or 3 prime and so on. And then we can also restrict the targeting, uh, we can just search within the exon. Then we can have a option for intersection, then pre-filtering, uh, we can minimum required GC uh, percentage and uh, the maximum uh, here. Uh, you can choose and so self complementary T also we can choose uh, and uh, restriction enzymes from which uh, commercial company it is available because once we plan the experiment we need to find out uh, the source of the enzyme and the supplier. So, uh, you can plan uh, quite in advance from where you are going to buy. And, and whether these uh, uh, will be available with these uh, companies or not. The minimum size of the restriction enzyme binding site 
and then uh, faster input and we also have the option for display uh, flanking sequence length in uh, detailed view and so on. So, for this is uh, the general uh, options and then for a cast iron also we have uh, various parameters which we can opt uh, palm tree prime can be NGZ or NGA and method for determining off targets of the genome. Uh, we can feed a value here off targets with up to 3 mismatches and as per the uh, protocol developed by uh, Su et al or by uh, Kong et al you can make a uh, choice. Then efficiency score according to the uh, Don Chetel uh, 2014 method or 2016 method, Sari et al, Ju et al and so on and then refer, uh, repair the profile uh, prediction uh, by San et al uh, 2018 and then uh, 5 prime requirement of the SGRNA we may simply choose as no requirement as well and also uh, safe complementarity check by as defined by uh, time at all. So, we can use all these uh, options and uh, we can also have the options for the uh, primers, uh, product size from uh, position say here 150 to 290 has been chosen and uh, the primer size uh, from 18 to 25 and optimal we are giving around uh, 22. Then uh, primer TM or uh, melting temperature uh, from a minimum to maximum and a optimal and maximal uh, minimum distance from primer uh, to target site also uh, can be opted uh, here. So, as already told we will uh, get a, a result and if you hover around uh, all uh, of over all these uh, particular uh, target sequences we will get the uh, further uh, details. Topsop is a, a comprehensive website for SGRNA design and we know that both CRISPR and TELEN uh, systems are supported by this uh, web resource. Uh, it provides various targeting systems uh, such as knockout, knock-in uh, that is now known to you and also various uh, predictive models uh, can be uh, chosen. Uh, so, the SOPSOP has a custom palm option that is convenient for choosing different uh, palm sequences and uh, it has been reported that cell types may affect the DSB repair pathway and then influence CRISPR-Cas genome editing outcomes. Uh, several uh, cell types including MESC, uh, U20S, etc., are optional in the SOPSOP website which we have just uh, shown you for accurate outcome uh, prediction. It is also important that SOPSOP is compatible with more than uh, 200 genomes. It allows researchers to design SGRN in a specific region of a gene such as the 5 prime or 3 prime UTR promoter or the uh, coding uh, region. Another tool uh, which is available is uh, CRISPR uh, developed by uh, Concordat and Hausler. So, here uh, on the input page the user enters an optional name uh, pastes a sequence of interest typically an exon into the sequence box and chooses a genome and the type of CRISPR nucleus that will be used. Genomes can be searched with the organism's common or scientific name. To keep track of certain sequence locations, the user can mark parts of an input sequence with uppercase and uh, lowercase letters. After a sort computation, uh, the website allows a graphical view of the input sequence with possible guide targets uh, below. This result page is available indefinitely at the moment and will be for at least one year in the uh, future. So, only the palms of the target are highlighted. The strand of the guide is indicated with a uh, dash which corresponds to the location of the most sort indels induced by SP Cas9. So, here uh, you can see this uh, uh, website uh, crispr.tefor.net through which you can assess and you can enter a single genomic sequence uh, here uh, into this uh, box okay, in step 1 and then uh, in step 2 you uh, select a genome from this uh, drop down menu and in step 3 you select a uh, palm uh, motif 
uh, again from this uh, drop down uh, menu. So, this already been uh, discussed. So, uh, you have the results uh, displayed in a page over here. So, colors green, yellow and red uh, indicate high, medium and low specificity of the palm guides, palm's guide sequence uh, in the uh, genome. So, you have here the predicted guide sequences for palms. These are ranked by default from highest to lowest uh, specificity scores. So, you can click on a column title to uh, rank uh, by a, uh, a score. So, kindly visit uh, this website and try to uh, find out the uh, sequences uh, that uh, you, you, you would uh, desire for, for a genomic uh, sequence of uh, interest. Uh, overall, CRISPR provides uh, multiple tools that include efficiency prediction uh, and specificity prediction and a primer design tool for vector construction as well as on target and off target detection. Uh, it incorporates almost all empirical algorithms for predicting efficiency such as uh, rule set 2. Uh, for specificity prediction, CRISPR includes MIT and CFD that are two mainstream specificity prediction tools. Uh, it integrates two CRISPR cas outcome predictive models out of frame score and frame save ratio to further reduce cutting efficiency. In addition, several critical factors such as uh, GC content, the types and numbers of mismatches uh, are labeled in the results. CRISPR covers hundreds of uh, organisms. Uh, different nucleus enzymes and palm types are also available for selection under CRISPR. These features allow the majority of researchers to use CRISPR for designing different CRISPR cas genome editing experiments. However, there are certain disadvantages uh, associated. The web server cannot handle sequences longer than uh, 2300 uh, base pairs and here uh, it is highlighted and enter a single genomic sequences uh, which should be lesser than 2300. Let us now discuss about uh, eCRISP which have been uh, developed by Hagware and his uh, colleagues which is used for first CRISPR target site identification. The home page of this eCRISP allows users to enter a gene symbol or a DNA sequence and select an organism uh, similar to uh, the earlier uh, uh, web based uh, softwares that we have discussed. Uh, the genomes can be searched with the organism's common or scientific name. To keep track of certain sequence locations, the user can mark parts of an input sequence with uppercase and lowercase letters. User can then select single or paired designs and start the application in relaxed, medium, strict uh, mode. So, this is the website uh, ecrips.org and uh, this is the German Cancer Research Center which facilitates this uh, web page and this uh, program. So, here uh, this is the software which is uh, used for design of uh, CRISPR uh, constructs. So, uh, you can select the organism as already told and uh, input uh, in, in the gene symbol, uh, symbol or you can ha also put as a uh, faster sequence by pasting it over here. And then uh, you can choose the uh, level of uh, stringency whether relaxed, medium or strict over here. And uh, this web application uses the uh, fast algorithms to identify target sequences for use with mediated uh, genome editing. It analyzes target specificity of the putative designs and assesses their genomic uh, context, example exons, transcripts, uh, CPG islands and so on. Uh, the design process incorporates different parameters of how uh, CRISPR constructs can be used in experimental applications such as knockout and tagging experiments. Uh, it can uh, design uh, guide RNAs for genomes of uh, more than uh, 30 organisms. Uh, the disadvantage of uh, this particular program is that it does not have SSL certificate on the web server and therefore it shows uh, not secure on the uh, browser. One of the important consideration in uh, CRISPR-Cas9 uh, design 
uh, tools is the downstream analysis uh, tools. Uh, we have uh, two such tools, one is the tide, another is the uh, tider. So, uh, this tide is for non-templated uh, cast iron editing and tider is for template directed cast iron editing. In uh, both cases, uh, you have uh, to provide the inputs either as uh, Sanger sequence uh, uh, traces uh, here 2 and here uh, 3 and then output is quantitative spectrum of indels around the cut side in the case of tide and in the case of tider the output is uh, quantification of templated mutations plus the spectrum of non-templated uh, indels. So, you can start either of these programs by uh, visiting uh, the particular program through these uh, buttons which provides the option. The users can give certain options. For example, he can enter a uh, 20 nucleotide 5 prime to 3 prime DNA character string representing the used single guide RNA uh, sequence immediately upstream of the palm sequence. Palm should not be uh, included here and then upload the chromatogram sequence files of respectively the control samples example transpected without cast iron or without the single guide RNA and the test samples example DNA of pool of cells uh, treated with both cast iron and SGRNA. So, this is the option for uploading uh, the data. So, uh, here we give uh, the title uh, plot or the name of the sample and the guide sequence uh, which has been uh, already discussed around 20 uh, nucleotides and we give a control uh, sample uh, chromatogram. So, we browse and upload the files and also the test sample uh, chromatogram uh, which is saved as a separate si file and then uploaded. TIDE provides rapid and uh, reliable assessment of genome editing experiments of a uh, target locus. Uh, based on the quantitative sequence trace data, from two standard capillary sequencing reactions, the TIDE software quantifies the editing efficacy and identifies the predominant types of insertions and deletions in the DNA of a targeted cell pool. The input to TIDE is uh, Sanger sequencing data as already uh, told in the beginning. The output of TIDE is a comprehensive profile of all insertion and deletions indels in the edited uh, sample. Disadvantage is that it does not capture megawaves long deletions. Uh, that can originate by CRISPR Cas9 induced uh, double strand uh, breaks. There are also tools which are developed for uh, CRISPR based editing work. So, this is one of the uh, web based design and analysis tools for CRISPR uh, based uh, editing. Uh, developed by Huang et al and published in this journal BMC Bioinformatics in 2018. Here the user need to upload their paired and sample NGS data. As an option users can additionally upload data from a CRISPR untreated control to compare it with data from a treated sample. To analyze query sequences in NGS data, base editor analyzer requires the uh, following. 1. A full wild type sequence for uh, reference. 2. The type of base editor to be used or deployed. Uh, third, the desired base editing window and fourth, the target DNA sequence. So, here uh, you can visit uh, these web base uh, base editor by visiting the site rgenome.net uh, oblique be dash analyzer and uh, here uh, this is a uh, JavaScript based instant assessment tool for NGS data of CRISPR uh, base edited cells. So, in the options for sequencing data, uh, you may select your uh, file type from this uh, drop down menu. Uh, for example, here the type selected is paired and reads. You can also uh, upload the files, uh, the read one files uh, in, in first queue format or the read to files and these are uploaded uh, from pre-prepared files. Under the options for basic information, 
you can give full reference sequence 5 prime to 3 prime and you can choose the pump, pump type uh, from the uh, drop down menu. In this case the SP Cas9 from Streptococcus pyrogenes 5 prime NGG 3 prime is uh, selected. Then the base editing type uh, C to A uh, is selected in this case and the other type of base editing available uh, can be explored from this uh, drop down menu. And the base editing window need to be defined from the uh, minimum uh, to uh, maximum and the target DNA sequence uh, 5 prime to 3 prime uh, is uh, given here as an input uh, without the uh, palm uh, sequence. You can also provide control data uh, which is uh, optional and uh, the file type uh, can be chosen over here uh, see, as in the case of the uh, sequencing data. And there are other parameters like ana uh, analysis parameters where additional flanking window for the analysis of CRISPR based editing uh, can be defined uh, in, in numerical terms and the minimum frequency and the comparison range whether uh, it is from both end or single end uh, can be given as an input. We have to remember that uh, BE analyzer is not com compatible with certain browsers like Internet Explorer uh, and it, it has to be used with either Chrome or uh, Microsoft Edge. And you can see here the base editing window and the palm sequence uh, given here as a uh, schematic. So, once uh, all these parameters are fed uh, into this uh, web page, uh, you have to submit it for the web server to compute and give you the output. And the output generated with uh, one of the example that for example uh, given in the earlier slide. Uh, so, you get a result uh, summary uh, which you need to use uh, for planning your work. So, you are getting here around uh, 11,800 uh, uh, total sequences and with uh, both indicator uh, sequences which are roughly around 11,400 and more than the uh, minimum frequency and you get the data about the uh, wild type and here the value of the insertions 0 in this case and you are getting some idea about the number of deletions 36 and sequences that have at least one uh, base substitution uh, quite uh, huge in this case around 6000 and sequences that have C to D conversions in the target window around 5000. And finally, you get a uh, score in terms of percentage a C to T substitution rate because we have uh, Susan here uh, the uh, C to T base editing type for example here we got around 53 percent. So, there is a substitution uh, table uh, also being displayed at the bottom of this uh, output page. So, this uh, output page uh, looks uh, like this when you uh, give some uh, input uh, for uh, a targeted uh, base editing of a, a particular uh, sequence uh, of your uh, soys. And uh, you get certain uh, analysis results in uh, graphical form. So, you get here the uh, total uh, substitution and then C to D substitution in the uh, target window and substitution patterns of outcome after the uh, substitutions as well as the optional substitution patterns of control data after the uh, substitutions. Overall B analyzer accepts targeted deep sequencing data and analyzes them to calculate uh, base conversion uh, ratios. In addition to the interactive table and graphs showing the results. B analyzer also provides a full list of all query sequences aligned to a given wild type sequence so that users can confirm mutation patterns uh, manually. B analyzer wholly runs on a client side web browser so that there is no need to upload very large NGS uh, data sets to a server. Thereby, this reduces a time consuming step in genome editing uh, analysis. The core algorithm of 
uh, BE analyzer was written in uh, C++ and then transcompiled to WebAssembly with uh, AMP scripting. Uh, there is one uh, disadvantage however, uh, it does not have SSL certificate on the web server and hence when you open the web page it will show it as uh, uh, not secure. So, with these we come to an end uh, on the discussion on various uh, bioinformatics and computational uh, resources available for uh, CRISPR Cas9 experiments. Uh, we have uh, discussed about the basic tools which are used for uh, CRISPR Cas uh, array scan as well as in detail about the various tools which are available for a single guide RNA design. Uh, we have also discussed about the various uh, uh, databases which are available and also on uh, the web applications uh, which are available for example, uh, base uh, editing. Uh, thank you uh, for your patient hearing.